guys, me again. So I'm on this sofa today because Meow has decided to come and pay a little visit and she absolutely loves sitting on my spa. She comes along and she will bite my toes until I move, not in a horrible way, she just has a little nibble on them or she scratches me and then as soon as I get up she pounces. So she is all snuggled over there now. So I am over here today. So thank you for all your lovely comments on the last video of the food pantry haul. And even though I say on it every time when I at this food pantry is for everybody, I still get some horrible comments about me taking food away from the needy. And I, I don't like that word, but that's the word that was used in one of the comments that I take food away from the needy. So I will explain again, just in case somebody needs to use the food pantry and thinks that they can't use it. So this food pantry that I go to is for everybody. It's not to be confused with a food bank. Now then I'm sure a food bank you can only use two or three times a year, whereas this food pantry you can use once a week. It's five pounds, it doesn't matter how much money you've got coming in or haven't got coming in, you can use it. It is run by volunteers, it does two things, it stops that food going in for landfill because all the food that I get is out of date, it's what the supermarkets are throwing away and it would go in a bin. These volunteers go, pick it up and come and then they distribute it to people who want it. So you go in, pay five pounds. Then that £5 goes to help for running costs, probably rent for the building, I'm not sure if they get it for free. Sometimes petrol if they have to travel quite a far or a few times to pick up the stuff. Um, but the volunteers are volunteers, they don't get a wage. But that £5 then they save and then they help people who need white goods. So white goods are classed as fridge freezers, fridges, washing machines and cookers. And then say if somebody has been given a flat and they have no money, they can help them by buying a fridge or a freezer or fridge freezer, washing machine or a cooker, whatever would help that person. So I save the food from going to landfill and my five pound helps somebody. You know, I appreciate not everybody wants to go back and watch my videos when I've explained this before, but I do stay at the start of every video when I do a food pantry haul, it is for everybody. So have a look if you've got one in your in your neighbourhood. There are a couple around here in Cardiff, but some are just for the neighbourhood. But this one is for everybody. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I really I don't want people to think there's nowhere for them to go. So if you need to use a food pantry, go and use a food pantry. If you want to support it and it's in your area, go for it. Now then the second thing I want to talk about is what frugal means to you. And what frugal means to you can be completely different to what frugal means to me. Some of the things I do, people might be a bit extreme, think are a bit extreme, and I can't please everybody. But I just tell you what I do, and then if you guys can take something from that and learn from it, great. If not, just scroll on by. There is no need to leave nasty messages or comments. There is a lot of stuff that I do that some people don't agree on and there's probably some stuff that you guys that I would think oh gosh well done I could never do that but I wouldn't dare attack you I wouldn't dare say oh my gosh you're not frugal or that's a bit extreme I can't please everybody but at the end of the day my channel is here to help people and if it just helps one person a day I am really happy with that. I thought we'd have a little chat today about what frugal means to you and maybe, like I said, what I do is not frugal to some of you and what some of you do is not frugal to me. So then, I wrote some things down that you may or may not want to do to live a more frugal lifestyle and there might be some things that I haven't mentioned that you like doing, so leave a comment below. I'll start with like utility bills, how to maybe reduce your utility bills to keep your bills lower. One thing is to turn the TV off, to turn the computer off, to turn the microwave off. Don't leave anything on standby. I know people leave the microwave on to read the time, 
but I have a clock in the kitchen, I don't need to do that, so I turn absolutely everything off because leaving it on standby, I know in some countries, even though you turn the TV off, if you leave the plug in the socket, it still uses electricity. That doesn't happen here in the UK, so you can turn everything off, but you don't need to unplug it. I use one bulb at a time and not to have multiple lights on. So if I'm just chilling on the sofa, I might just have my lamp on. If I'm doing more work, sewing, crocheting, whatever, I might put the um, big light on because it's brighter. I don't have all the lamps on and the big light on, the main light. Use LED light bulbs. You could turn your heating down one degree. That would save you a lot of money over the course of the year. We're going into autumn it is going cooler and so when it does i like to go around my home and making sure there's no drafts right then so you could cook from scratch don't throw leftovers turn them into something else and make another meal out of it or freeze them so you can use it another time or you could eat the same meal a couple of nights in a row, cook once and eat twice or three times. Eat more vegetables and less meat. Drink water instead of pop. Learn a new skill. Cooking, baking, so you're not going out and buying sweet treats. You can actually cook at home and make them yourself. It's great to do with the kids and it's cheaper. Reuse old containers and jars. Bulk buy stuff. If you've got the money, instead of buying little bags of pasta, you could buy one big bag. It works out cheaper in the long run. Grow your own vegetables, grow your own fruit, grow your own herbs, just grow your own. Uh, that's something I love to do. I haven't done it as big this year. It's been a weird year for growing stuff. And with us moving and everything, I don't want to be taking loads of food with us. So I've just been growing what we need. Preserve the food. You know, you can pickle stuff, you can jar stuff, dry stuff. Bake your own bread. Where I am in the city, wherever I go or whatever time I go, there is always reduced bread. So I don't need to bake my own bread because I can get it cheap enough. I can buy a loaf of bread for 20p. I get a lot of bread from the food pantry, which I freeze. I've got my two good to go bags. So there's no point me making bread because it would cost me more than what I can buy. But if you can't get to a shop like I can, then baking your bread would be a good alternative. And yes, it would maybe be cheaper. DIY, do it yourself if there's odd jobs or cutting the grass, painting, anything like that. Instead of calling a handyman to come out and do it, can you do it yourself? Some people will think absolutely no way and others might think, yeah, okay, I can give that a go. When buying food in the supermarket, go down a brand or buy the essential or the basic. Some people will say absolutely no way. I love Heinz salad cream. I cannot buy any other salad cream. I've tried and it's just yucky. But mayonnaise, I prefer the cheaper one. I don't like Heinz or um, Hellman's or anything like that. I just think they taste too eggy. I just don't like the taste of them. I like the cheaper ones. My Heinz salad cream, I don't like paying full price for it. I wait until it's on special off. If you're gonna have an expensive brand, wait until it's on offer. You can also make and use reusable cloth products. So I don't use kitchen roll. I make my own and paper towels. I don't buy dishcloths. I rip up old towels and sew them up and make dishcloths. You know, there's a lot of stuff that you can make. Buying bars of soap instead of body wash because bars of soap last longer and they work out a lot cheaper. You can make your own. You can make your own gifts to give people for birthdays and Christmases and things like that. So there are many, many ways to be frugal and what is frugal to you is not always frugal to somebody else. If you've got anything that you do that I haven't mentioned here, leave a comment below. We're all about helping each other out here. If you don't like this video, please scroll on by and just don't leave any horrible messages because all it'll do is get you blocked. 
I have started making more short videos, I've been posting more on the posts, I leave a nightly riddle, not every night, I haven't been doing it every night and I'm also on Instagram so go over and have a look and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you soon. Bye.